Guys, I've been cooking lately. No, not just food, but some fun Ars content. I was always a sucker for opening car packs like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon packs back when I was a kid. So I wanted to emulate that experience with RuneScape. I've been putting more effort lately to fill collection lock slots that seem fun to do or in ways that could be fun. It's getting more difficult to fill lock slots, so it's better to open a bunch of things at once versus just opening one thing occasionally and get nothing. So stacking a bunch of things like master clue caskets, god eggs, and some keys and opening them all at once sounded like a big brain strategy. In today's progress video, you will see my progress towards getting all the items shown on the screen. If you are a fan of these types of prize videos, hit that like and I will probably be doing another one of these in the future, so enjoy today's video. Initially, I wanted to stack Master Caskets because I've gotten to the point where I've gotten most of the common reward slots for Master Clues after doing 500 or so. So the plan was to collect 50 before I opened them, but I realized there's also a lot of other things that I could stack, which I will talk about soon. But yeah, let's talk about stacking the Master Caskets and the Beginner Clues. How I went about collecting Master Clues was a very low effort in AFK style. This is the negative efficiency strat. I utilized the NPC Watson to get me Master Clues as he will allow me to trade in one Elite, Hard, Medium, and Easy Clue to make a Master. So for the Elites, I would get them mostly from just bossing, looking for pets like Race 3 Pet or Nightmare Pet or Gauntlet Pet or just AFK woodcutting at Redwoods. Let's say half-half. Usually I got most of the hard mediums and easy off just AFKing Redwoods. I spent a lot of time AFKing to edit videos or just chill and watch some anime. So Redwoods was perfect AFK and I would get lots of clue nets. I also don't have the woodcutting pet yet. So extra incentive to do it this way. What's the XP guys? Guess, guess in the comments until I get this pet. I used the Inferno Axe as my 12th choice because it makes redwoods even more afk since it burns 25 percent of the logs that i cut so the past two months or so i've exclusively afk'd at redwoods for this very purpose look at this shit 1.3 bill experience kind of a skiller now have you guys ever felt groggy and lacking energy for even things like runescape lately it's not easy to get nutrients that you need in today's fast-paced world dominated by fast foods and busy schedules. But today's sponsor, AG1, is here to absolutely change that. AG1 is a nutritional drink that packs all the daily essential nutrients and phytonutrients that the average Joe would need to maximize their health and overall productivity. It's also incredibly easy to make. Simply place a scoop of AG1 into your shaker with water in it and shake for a few seconds and bam, within two minutes or less, you have your AG1 drink. It's light like water and has only a mild sweet flavor, so it's really easy to drink. AG1 is also amazing for gut health as it allows you to absorb nutrients more efficiently. I've been drinking AG1 the past week and I have to say I didn't even know it was possible to feel this good. I drank AG1 at the start of the day and my energy levels have definitely gone up. My exercise routine feels sharper and easier and I feel more confident preparing for my first marathon this September. My overall mood has gone up as well, making me more positive and productive. If you feel like you need an energy boost or just overall want to feel healthier without having to commit a lot of time or effort, I definitely recommend drinking some AG1 and see if it can do that for you. Right now is the best time to try some AG1 because if you use my link for your first purchase, you also get a year's supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3, K2, and 5 travel packs free. Get an insane efficiency upgrade in the IRL servers now with AG1. I also like to do 3 masters at a time. The trick to preparing 3 masters is to have 1 master already in your bank, have 4 types of clues stored in Watson, and have another 4 clue types in your bank. So that way you can do 1 master and quickly make two more using Watson. This reduces gearing time for clues. I also did beginner clues since I figured it's barely any added time and it's easy slots and you get a bunch while AFKing Redwoods. As for doing the clues themselves, I set up a nice bank tab just for this as shown on the screen here. You can make your own by downloading the bank tab layout plugin on Runelight. Really useful and saves a lot of time and frustration gearing and it doesn't mess up your other bank uh, layouts. Stacking 50 masters will take a long time, so while I am stacking the other things, uh, you will be seeing me progressively make progress towards the 50 masters.
I've never seen anybody fish here before. Is there any uh, special properties of this uh, this fishing spot here, guys? Does it like not move, maybe? The next thing I worked on passively was 100 god eggs for the chance that that chicken outfit piece Jagex recently allowed most seeds to work for burr houses, so things like potato seeds, cabbage seeds, even your flower seeds will work. So you no longer need just hop seeds. This is amazing because I had tons of random seeds that were otherwise useless in my seed vault. And I didn't really like doing burr houses because I would have to uh, prep hop seeds, you know? No, thank you. So this inspired me to use those junk seeds up at burr houses. Luckily, it worked out perfectly and I got 100 god eggs from all of the junk seeds. The burr house run is simple, there's no efficiency trick to it other than wearing the rabbit's foot necklace. It slightly improves your chance of getting god eggs. Oh my god, two in one run? That's heavenly. Alright, we used all the poison ivy seeds, we have like 40 left, so I'm gonna save some of that, but I got some watermelon seeds. So I've used up pretty much all the seeds, the junk seeds that I've had that wasn't useful before so not much left i had no idea if all these junk seeds was going to be enough to get 100 god eggs but it was just right and i guess the rest of whatever i get extra will definitely be from kingdom because we are only halfway done with our master so yeah we got plenty of more extra eggs to collect and uh, we are now stocked up on bird's nest though i also did some kingdom management for some extra eggs the trick to kingdom is to make sure that you uh, maximize your maples and put the rest on teak logs. We'll go with, I think, 20 extra godics. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. While the casket and godic stacks were passively ongoing, I actively worked on getting Lern's keys, usually at nighttime. I recently tried Wildy Slayer for the first time because I have the Wildy weapons, so I thought I would put them to good use. It was a fun enough experience that I opened a hundred Lerns keys and got massively nothing. So I wanted to try again and get another hundred keys to see if I can get, finally, the Dagon High rope slot. Wait, where's the Lerns key? Oh, they changed it recently, right? You can put that in your looting bag because it's tradable now. Oh. I'm a fan of using the chain mace when I go and do the task that I can't barrage mainly because it's a much less riskier setup. I can bring like DFS uh, and like Void Waker for anti PKing, so it's really nice. Whereas if you do like range or magic, you gotta definitely bring a lot more risk. Uh, so yeah, I just prefer the melee. It does the job, especially with the Vagoras Mace. Attack mode and strength mode is the same exit for, with this setup right now that I'm wearing, so it's pretty lit. It's like 200 mil strength means I can't gain strength, but I can still gain quite a lot of attack, so works pretty well seeing as how making 50 master clues and doing them is going to take a while i'll probably finish most of the key grinds before i even get 50 masters so i have an extra support plan and that is to make a ring of wealth imbued or make as many as i need depending on how often i die but i got a bunch of ring of wealth imbued scrolls so far doing the larynx key grind this is the active part of my collection for this progress and yeah i'm just gonna make a ring of wealth imbued because in the wilderness with it on anything that you kill whatever drops uh, clue scrolls it will be twice as common so i can get some hards and elites while doing wildy slayer for those masters oh damn yo ring of wealth eyes freaking working i forgot they made the ring of wealth also just pick up coins automatically so perfect for wilderness slayer you get a bunch of coins from many tasks <clears throat> Oh, yes, finally, Clue Scroll. Ah, that's nice. Ah, you don't get these often from Wildy Slayer because most of them only drop up to hard. Easy Master Clue make because of the good ring of wealth. Oh, hell yeah. 37 Masters. Well, this will be 38. Trying to get to 50. I already covered the Larynx Key strategy in a previous video linked at the top, but I will quickly cover it here. So you want to prioritize doing tasks in the Wildy Slayer Cave as you get better key chances inside. And then you want to prioritize barrageable tasks in the Slayer Cave, like the Abyssal Demons, Dust Devils, Necrohals, Jellies. Then you want to prioritize the rest of the caves. Here's an info map for you to use. I only use Cannon when I couldn't barrage since the broad tasks were already quick on its own, but if you're rich enough, you could definitely combine both. And I didn't want to feed PKers with twice the risk. 
but i would say the way that i did it for irons at least is very cost effective cannon was massive for non-barrage tasks the barrageable slayer task usually gave at least 4 to 5 keys because superior spawns were guaranteed Laren's keys. If you have a Theron Scepter or a Cursed Scepter, that's definitely the single best weapon for the Laren's key grinds because it affects magic in the wilderness. You get 50% extra damage and 50% extra accuracy on anything in the wilderness. So when you are barraging with the staff, you're going to hit like 50s even with welfare gear. Also, definitely extend the barrageable Slayer mobs using the Slaughter Bracelet and the Slayer Rewards, as it will help you net an extra key or two. That was a superior. Oh my god, no. I teleported on a superior. Oh my god. Oh, it's still there. Oh my god. Yes, it's still there. Holy shit. Talk about speed. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. This is where the Scepter comes in handy. The single target Scepter version with the spec. Holy. We're putting it in work, boys. Come on, let's kill it and see what we get. Be nice if we get something else like um, a dust staff. That's collection log. Ah, nah, nothing. But it's okay. Free key though, for sure. I'm going to speed up my Laren's key grind just because I really get attacked at this time of the day. And I'm going to bring my Inferno Cape, which is Trover Parched. So that way I keep it if I die. And D-Boots, giving me, uh, I don't know, three or four max hits combined. Oh, there, there it is, 72. What? That wasn't even my max. Holy shit, that means my max is like 73, probably. Holy shit, there it is. After the update, they made it so that you get two Trover Parchments. Dude, this is crazy. I just got my back-to-back-to-back Necrotas. Shout out to uh, 99 Circuit. Holy shit, that was crazy. Yeah, I think I averaged like probably eight keys per task, so... That is literally the dream. Just keep getting getting the freaking 10% proc for Necrails, man. Holy. Oh, I got a whip. Oh, damn. First time we got a whip from uh, Wilderness Tasks, Abyssal Demons. Kind of cool. I was doing so many uh, Barrage Tasks that uh, I pretty much ran out. But I made another... Hmm, where are they? I made another 30 or so. So all these freaking Wilderness Teleport Tablets I get from Wally Star, they're actually really freaking useful for... Uh, while these steps uh clue scrolls mainly i'm not really mastered them yet because there's so many teleports i'm just not used to teleporting but like anna carl though for example really good so uh, i'm just gonna use it right here and uh dig for my next step just like that oh yes dust doubles oh this should be the last task guys 214 dust doubles because i only need four more left uh that is keys yep so, I should be able to get four pretty quickly. Dude, I got six Lerns keys in, like, the first quarter of this task. This could be an insane record or something. I don't freaking know. We'll, we'll have to see here. Oh, my God. Dude, another superior. <laughs> what the f*** is going on? Dude, I'm learning key number nine, so this would put me at number ten. Oh, there's a PK right here. Damn it, dude. I was so close, but I tell you, though. I wanted to finish this all in one go, but hey, uh, yo, we got 13 keys this trip. All right, guys, we PB'd at the very end. I got an extra Laren's key. As you can see, 14. So, yeah, that's my PB. Quickly, get the task before we uh, get system updated. Ah, we got shit tasks. It was trolls. All right, here's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that I got while doing Wildy Slayer. So I got 3.7k Ancient Ice Axe, really good for when I uh, do any sort of like RDO Callisto uh, for collection log in the future. I'll probably go back to those eventually. But yeah, really good for the freezing and saving a lot of inventory space. Uh, Blood of Vengeance, not too sure how I'll use it other than like, yeah, if I do PvP or anti PKing of sort. Maybe at Venonatus. Yeah, probably Venonatus. So I can just activate this, you know, for anti PKing. Uh, what else? There's some other random things too that I got. Let's see. We got a bunch of these <laughs> 30 plus magic short bows, short parchment, bring a wealth scrolls. They're kind of useful. This, These two are kind of useful. Looting bag. After getting 100 Laren's keys, the next thing I wanted to try stacking was 100 Brimstone keys. Another Slayer related collectible that gives you the Dust Mystic pieces. You can only get these keys on task from Konar. I've opened a hundred brimstone keys before, and I got a dust hat and broken hostile unique. 
or some dry arrows for toa the first 100 keys i ever collected took probably years of just passively doing some corner tasks here and there so i didn't really realize how slow it was actually going to be when you really wanted to collect them at least compared to Laren's keys it's unfortunate that superior mobs from corner assignments do not have a guaranteed brimstone key i don't think i got a single brimstone key from any superiors oh i got a yo i just got a leap lit battle axe let's go while looking for brimstone keys that's cool that's cool oh my god i never got bronze boots i'm trolling hey so close oh my god 49 masters banked goodness but we're finally at the last one so let's get this last lead and make this 50th master oh i got a leak clue scroll let's go there it is that's the 50th master clue right there thank you give me the master clue there it is the 50th master <laughs> damn it took a long time to stack 50 man yeah 50 that's a new record so i ended up getting up to 59.6 mil wood kind of xp to make my 50 master casket stack and i still don't have the wood bed maybe one day also konar trolls you really hard by giving you really bad locations to hunt your targets for example in one day she asked me to kill abyssal demons in the abyss of all places like eight times when it could have been in the catacombs where i could have barraged them and what I mean by that is, for example, it takes over an hour probably to kill them in the abyss because I can't barrage them. Also, the Fardenin bow is actually really good too for some of these weird spots with cannons just because some spots requires a lot of moving around. Otherwise, you can usually find some good safe spots to use the F bow, like this map here in the Coral Realm Slayer Dungeon for Greater Demons. And uh, with the help of the cannon, they synergize really well. No moving, really fast kills yeah so this is the best spot for this uh map here that i found because it does not hit these lizard demons that often but it hits literally every single greater demon that spawns here so depending on your luck the brimstone key drops per hour could vary insanely unlike laren's keys where it almost was predictable the best tasks though are definitely the slayer specific creatures because they have a 20 percent higher key chance than normal slayer assignments specifically if corner gives you like dust devils and crowds and missile demons jellies in the catacombs those are ideal for brimstone keys as you can barrage them or even use the venator bow also blood veils are really good if assigned in places like catacombs or mire ditch where you can barrage them again or cannon them or venator bow them oh abyssal head oh my god bruh that's so rare all right well that's okay Oh, I got a dragon sword? No, I need a dragon harpoon. Another dragon sword? No way. No. Oh, oh my god, I got a dragon harpoon. Oh, let's go. And the sad part is, if you didn't know, uh, I've gotten 10 of these or something. when uh, It used to be in chambers way back in the day. <laughs> but they, they never counted. Yeah, best part about the D harpoon is that... Like, things like Temporos here. Yeah, watch this, dude. It should be done as well for the D Harpoon. Yeah! Cannonable tasks like Dagonauts in Lighthouse or in the Jumungan Dungeon, I found, is also really good just because you can kill them insanely fast combined with the Venator Bow, which makes up for their rare drop chance. So, I want to bring special attention to the Venator Bow because I used it a ton for the Brimstone Key grinding. It makes a lot of tasks like those jellies or blood veils or Dagonauts super FK and quick. Venator Bow was honestly the only reason I did not get tilted from Kona trolling me with a lot of horrible assignments. Definitely extend the barrageable Slayer mobs using Slaughter Bracelets and Slayer Rewards as it will help you net extra key or two. Yeah, this is amazing. Look at this. 49k Slayer XP an hour. Literally FKing. So, blood veils and stuff. Everything. You know, it's going to be like 50, 40 40k at least just afk with a uh, good gear oh ancient page oh collection looks like what my notes one two three four oh nice i'll probably finish all of this before i get a drown full home <laughs> another brimstone key let's go five this task okay uh this is easily my pb right now five brimstone keys a test not even extending the slaughters because i uh, i was hoping to get a lot of barrage tasks but i keep getting abyssal demons in the abyss which yeah keeps 
ruining that. We're still doing good. 20 keys today. <laughs> How do I keep getting abyssal demons in the abyss? This uh, elf city slayer dungeon is really interesting because you can place your cannon down here. Cannon Karaz is not going to do damage. Well, I'm trying to make this as chill as possible. And uh, Karaz aggression range is terrible. So it's, uh, I'm willing to use cannonballs to literally make this task way more AFK. How many keys to end the day? 75. Nice. Three quarters of the way. Yes. Ooh. Let's go. Mystic rope bottoms. This whole time, it's never been in the log. <laughs> During this whole endeavor, getting uh, the 100 brimstone keys, this is the first time I've gotten a smoke devil test. Man, they're so rare. I, I skipped a lot too, because look at my points. I've been using them as much as I can. This definitely would be like the best task for brimstone keys. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, that might be my PB right there. Six brimstone keys in one task. Connor's going to suck me dry. Yes! Oh, hell yeah. This will definitely, definitely be the 100. This task will be it for sure. Holy shit, new record! Oh, no way, guys. Wow. <laughs> We're easily over 100 keys. All right, boys. That's it. The brimstone stack is done. Final 106. So we're going to get one more set of keys. Now, the last thing I wanted to stack up was 100 enhanced crystal keys for a chance of the dragonstone rune armor i might as well go all in with the keys collection here i opened up maybe like 200 a long time ago for fun and i didn't get anything but seeing as how i am 2500 corrupted gauntlets dry without the pet and this is where i put it hand left if i had one sorry i have an insane amount of spare crystal shards however though you need 10 crystal shards per crystal key to make the enhanced version so it's quite costly on the shards just to make one key for example it would take more than one gauntlet to actually make one key like maybe one and a half a hundred enhanced keys then will require a thousand shards i wouldn't recommend making these keys regardless of what account you play because it's honestly way better to use the shards to make the vine potions especially if you're an iron man and also on the main it's super expensive to make this only makes sense to do because I'm 3x try going for Gauntlet Pet. But there it is, guys. Look, I got all the, uh, the things I want to open. So we got the, the Masters I want to open. Uh, the God Eggs I want to open. Uh, I guess the Beginners too while we're at it. And we have the Brimstone Keys, the Lairns Keys, the Enhanced Keys as well. So that's, that's going to be a really fun opening. So what am I going to open first? It will be the keys, then the god eggs, and then the clue scrolls. So for the keys, I'm going to do Laren's keys first, 100, uh, and change. We'll use those first because I am streaming right now live at the moment. And I want to open the Laren's keys when there's the least amount of people watching because I have to go to the wilderness. Yeah, but anyway, twitch.tv slash rice cup. Feel free to check that out if you're not afraid of spoilers. Ooh, spooky. But yeah, we are going to go uh, open 10 at a time. I brought my uh, handy dandy anti PK gear with me. The first 10. Oh, Drandar tips. Let's go. All right. How much is this? Oh, Drandar tips. Damn. Okay. Nothing. And where's the dragon arrows? Where's the dragon high piece? Okay. This is good. I made 1.8 mil this time. This could be a 2 mil. 1.7. Never mind. Ah, uh, rim plate lakes. Ooh. Ooh, I saw somebody. All right, I gotta be careful. Nothing good, man. All right, we've opened about half of the Laren's keys from this session here, and uh, unfortunately, we have not gotten any anything too noticeable other than that dry and arrow drop. One point four mil, though. Man, and I got extra keys too. It's not 100, it's 110. No way, dude. 207, 208. Damn, the last key, boys. Doodle. Here we go. Like, oh my god, the server lag, dude. No way, and we didn't get anything. Wow. Unfortunately, 210 learns chests. 
Not a single piece, boys. That that's close to three extra iron, right? For any piece. So we got one dust piece. And we got the broken dragon hostel ready from here. Let's see if we can get some more stuff. This will be pretty quick because there's no banking involved. Look at that. Brimstone keys are so much nicer. I always get more lucky here. Another broken dragon hosta. Another one. Last one. Room plate legs. Unfortunate. We've opened over 200 keys total with no unique items that we have not gotten. But for this loot, we got some good dragon arrows. A thousand plus just from the brimstone keys. So that is really good. Always love those. But we got a hundred enhanced crystal keys next. So let's see what happens. Ah, there it is. Yeah. If we can get one of these... That would be sick. Because I've already opened this 216 times. So I wonder if this 100, uh, you know, if we get lucky, we might get one. They're extremely dumb rare. What? No. I remember last time I got one of these two. Uh, why? Why, dude? Why? Another shield left half. Looking back, I think I had a much better time opening Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon card packs than a freaking opening keys in RuneScape. So, there's that. But, enhanced crystal chests though, chances were extremely low. And of course, I didn't get any uniques. Uh, and of course, last one. I already used Badoodle, so I'm kind of screwed. There we go. Oh man, dude, I can't believe it. Fully scammed on 300 keys. So here's the loot from 100 enhanced crystal keys. As you can see, it's pretty bad. Because I only managed to get about a third of my shards back. Lots of shard loss. And the resources are okay, to say the least. They're, I wouldn't say spectacular. All right, next up is 120 god eggs. Chances are not the best, but I do already have two chicken leg pieces. Too bad it's dupes. Here we go. This counter is actually not correct. I've opened a lot more than this. They didn't keep track of it until way later, so. No way, dude, everything's failing. So it all comes down to these clue scrolls. I think the beginners is, you know, it's pretty free. So we're going to need some participation trophies and the beginner clues are going to hook us up because I only have one item. Build up to the real, the real deal, the master caskets. So here we go. Let's get some free dopamine. I'm really needing some dopamine. Oh yeah, there, there we go. Let's freaking go, dude. Rune Skimitar Ormakit. Let's freaking go. Yo, there it is. Let's go. Sandwich lady hat. Hell yeah, dude. My character needed something. Needed some cushion. Two slots, man. Nine. Oh, another one. Let's go, dude. And finally. Oh, we didn't get anything. But it's cool. We got we got some free slots, though. Okay, well, that leaves us with the master caskets, boys. The thing that I want the most from the masters right now is the occult ornament kit because I really like the look. And I get to use it pretty much anywhere when I go PVM. And it's the last jewelry kit that I need. And of course, some Dredge would be nice. And some of the other stuff. I've never gotten Dredge before, ever. Alright, there we go. We killed another Mimic. Wow, this is my 33rd. Here we go. Here we go. Nice, but I already got this. Please, please. Oh, yo, new item. Let's freaking go. We actually got a new item. Wait a minute. Oh, wow, I totally forgot I got these before the log. 31 more masters. Here we go. No way. Chill. Chill. Five of these now. All right, here we go. Oh, new item. Yo, full samurai. That is full samurai, boys. We are cooking. The Guardian of the Rice Fields. Except there's one problem. There's no rice in this game. What? He's already here, bro. Is Mutz the recent Zook Kim acquirer? Yeah, dude. All right, number 17. Oh, oh my God, yes. Let's go, a co-ornament kit. We're, we're kind of done with Masters, dude. Oh. Yo, let's go. That's awesome. We have actually completed uh, the most realistic Master Clue goal that we got going on over here, uh, which is, yeah, to get all the jewelry kits. I've been waiting to kit this occult necklace forever now, so 
it's nice. It's freaking nice, man. All right, here we go. Last one. <laughs> this is the worst master ever, but all right. You know, I'm happy. Beautiful. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Well, that was a lot of fun. First time ever stacking that many RNG things. Definitely brought back those car opening vibes from back in the kid days. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave a like. And consider subscribing because I'll probably stack some more stuff in the future. Particularly, I'm thinking definitely next time I'll stack a bunch of the other types of clues. From beginners all the way to elites. Because we kind of finished a big master goal. So it's time to work on the other stuff. There's a lot of free slots in the other clues. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon with another video.